In this installation video, we're going to take a look at RDM or Remote Device Management. RDM allows bi-directional communication between our lighting controller and our fixtures. In the setup I've got here, I've got an MQ70 console and I've got various fixtures connected in different ways. So we support RDM either via direct DMX to the console on some of our consoles like the MQ50, MQ70 and MQ80 consoles. On all MagicQ consoles and PC systems, we support RDM via ARPNET as well with compatible ARPNET RDM nodes. So via network, I've got some different manufacturer RDM compatible ARPNET nodes uh, with my other fixtures connected via direct DMX to different ports on these nodes. So we're going to show you how you can use RDM to both configure fixtures remotely and also patch the console. So if we jump over to the console, and we've assumed at this point you've already got the fixtures connected either via Direct DMX or via ArtNet, and you've got that side of things working. If I go to Setup, View DMX IO, Net Manager, you've got some different windows inside the Net Manager window. You've got View ArtNet, which shows you your nodes on the network, which you can configure remotely as well, and we'll look at how to do that in a different installation video. If we go to View RDM, this is the window where you'll find the fixtures connected to your console that are RDM compatible. At the top of the window, you've got a discover all button, which if I press, now, as you can see in the command line, requests our nodes and fixtures to do the discovery to, to identify themselves. If you press the get info button, we'll now populate those fixtures, and you can see in the gray boxes there, it's found my three fixtures I've got plugged in at the moment. There's various different views uh, of information you can see in this window, You'll notice as I scroll around up and down through this window, just below the Net Manager title bar, it gives me some information about the fixtures. So it tells me things like the temperature, if it's got a temperature sensor in the fixture. If it's a discharge fixture, it might give me information like the lamp hours of that fixture. You then see the universe, you see the type, you can see the one that says direct is the one that I've got connected via direct DMX. The other two are connected through my nodes, so say ArtNet RDM. You've got the RDM universe, which tells me the universe they're going to be coming in on. Now, this is essentially like an ArtNet universe. So you can see I've got two fixtures, which are on RDM universe zero, which is the one of them connected via direct DMX and one of them through my nodes. ArtNet universe zero, I've got configured as universe one on my console. So at the moment, if we go across, you can see the address field. And this is the DMX address of my fixtures. And you can change the fixtures address now remotely from the console. So without having to go up the ladder and address the unit manually yourself, you can put your cursor on the box and you can type in a new address for a fixture. So I could change this fixture here to address number 20. And now that's physically changed that on the unit. You can take the console away and the address is held on that fixture. You can also change the mode of your fixtures remotely as well. If we scroll across, so past the manufacturer model, which is where you can see the type of fixture, You've got a mode column here, which you can click on. If I scroll up and select uh, my Ovation fixture here, I can change the mode and put it, say, in two-channel mode. And again, that's changed that on the unit. Unplug the desk. It's not going to hold that mode. Now, if you've got multiple fixtures of the same type, you need a way of identifying which is which fixture in your rig. So over on the left side of your window, you'll see there's an RDM test button. And if I toggle that on, you can see one row turns red in that window. And I've now got one fixture, that one that's highlighted, flashing at me. So it identifies which is which fixture. Using your cursor keys, you can scroll up and down through this window and identify your fixtures in the rig, set their addresses, change their mode, uh, and manage that fixture. If I turn the test off, you can see it stops flashing at me then. Uh, with the addressing of fixtures, next to the address box, you've got the channel field. And this tells me the number of channels that fixture requires in its current mode. So you can see this fixture here requires 17 channels, this one two channels, but both want address one on the same console universe coming in on. This one here is on a different universe, my third one, my Maverick Wash, so we're not worried about that at the moment. But the two here on the same address, yes, I could go and manually work out that's 17 channels, so I need to put that on address 18, but the desk is clever. It can do that for you. At the top of the window, you'll see there's an auto address button. If I press auto address, select yes, desk will work out for me where there's spacing and it will readdress those fixtures. So you can see it's done exactly that. It's changed that second fixture to address 18. Again, it's changed it on the unit for me. If I start a new show on my console, we can also use RDM for clever things like actually patching our console. 
rather than having to select and manually patch you know, this fixture at this university's address. So let's start my new show off. Let's head back into that view RDM window. And as you move your cursor around, wherever the fixtures uh, selected with the cursor is, at the top of the window, you'll see there's a patch RDM head button. If you press it, we'll then patch that fixture. Scroll down to the next one, patch RDM head, let's patch it again. Next one, patch it, and let's patch that fixture. So if I open up my patch window, I've now got those three fixtures patched. If you've got multiple fixtures or lots of fixtures in your rig and you just want to patch the entire rig, you can hold your shift key down and you'll see a patch all RDM button appear at the top. You press that and it will patch all RDM fixtures that the console has found. We can prove we've got control of those fixtures now by selecting them in our group window. If we select the three lights, locate, they all come on and we can prove that we've got control over our fixtures via RDM like so. So that's how you can configure your fixtures remotely with a Magic Cube console using RDM and patch your fixtures. For more information, take a look at the campus website on our training and support pages.